Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be replacing a hard drive on an HP all-in-1 computer. And this computer here runs on a regular hard drive, the drive that spins. And I'll be replacing with this Samsung SSD drive. And definitely would speed things up for me. All right, so let me go ahead and show you the model number here. If you take a look at the bottom stand here, we the serial number and the product will be listed down at the bottom and I'll identify the model here for you so the computer on this one is hopefully you guys can see it it's a model 24k 0225m for Mary so this is HP Pavilion 24 in one PC model 24k 0225m all right let's go ahead and get started the first thing i like to do is to remove this speaker cover here uh, kind of like snap on you don't really have to use any screw to pry it open what i did was i just go and grab it and then just kind of peel back a little bit and i like to work by the corner where the weakest point would be and just kind of peel and pry it out once the speaker thing is removed, you can see that the entire screen is being covered. So we need to remove the screw in order to re remove the screen to get into the hard drive. All right, the first thing I like to do is to somewhat disconnect this LCD cable. And hopefully you guys can see it. There would be a little clipper right here, the black clipper. And I need to lift it up. There's one side I did. And I'm coming here to lift up on the other side. So lift up on both sides where the clipper is open. Then I can remove the, uh, the cable, which is the LCD cable. Next step is to get a Phillips screwdriver. I'll be removing the screws. So let's zoom out a little bit. I'll be removing this screw here. It looks like there are only three screws in total holding down the LCD screen. I don't see any other screws holding it down. So let's remove all three of them. Okay. See if I can lift up the screen. You might want to give it a little, um, a little push because the screen itself is kind of clipped onto the side of the panel or the back of the panel so you do kind of need to lift it up slightly for this purpose let me turn it around holding it down and I'm working on the very corner here to lift it up and there's one more cable here is being connected to it this is more likely a webcam cable and I just kind of lift it straight up. So you want to pay, pay attention to this. One side is just white connector and the other side you can see a little gold dots and that gold dots is to face towards the screen and the white connector has nothing to it should be facing down towards the stand. And that is the connector where I was just pull it straight up. Okay. As I kind of lift it up, I'm lifting the screen up. I know the angle on the camera is different, but you can see that this is the, uh, the stand and I just lift up the screen towards this way. Okay. And here you can see that the hard drive is installed on this corner here. And this is pretty much the entire motherboard, the CPU, 
So pretty much this is the uh, the motherboard, the CPU, the fan, the RAM. Okay, and this is the hard drive. So I'm be removing the clipper. Open up the clipper here. It doesn't seem like it's going to open on that side. I'm just going to pull this connector towards and just lift it up. Okay, while I'm still holding the screen on one side, I'm just going to remove that connector, the SATA connector. Okay, so that is the hard drive. I just removed it. And you can just remove this cover. And install the SATA drive. Like such. And then the connector that goes back in all right before I do that process what I like to do is to kind of give you a an idea what are you gonna face um, what happened is that now when you remove your original old hard drive okay and then we're gonna install the SSD drive let's just assume that you install you put everything back together and you turn on the computer guess what the computer will say is hey there's no windows I'm not gonna boot right into the windows there's no login and whatnot because the hard drive is brand new you get what I'm trying to say right so um, there are two ways to do it one is option one if you want to start fresh from the beginning meaning that you don't care about the data or maybe the hard drive is completely dead there's nothing you can do about it by just changing a brand new drive then that is option one meaning that you will fresh install the windows get one of these windows 10 or windows 11 or you can actually go to microsoft website allows you to download the windows into a usb drive and you can just fresh install windows into the ssd drive when you fresh install it pretty much everything start from fresh the beginning and where the history is going to be begin right okay so that's option one option number two is if the hard drive is still good and you want to migrate all your windows all your programs all your data over to the new ssd drive then i recommend you to use the software called acronis you can go ahead and look it up on amazon um, or check the link down description below i would link it where you can buy that Acronis software and follow the tutorial on how to do the cloning. Okay, my mistake. Uh, check the link down the description below. This is what I'm trying to show it to you is um, if you want to buy the replacement part, the SSD or the Acronis or the Windows, check the link down the description below. I'll link it where you can um, buy directly from either Amazon or eBay. Okay, now the Acronis allow you to clone a working hard drive not like the dead hard drive okay a working hard drive over to the SSD drive once the cloning is completed successfully and when you install this this hard drive back into your computer you should be able to have same identical windows program settings data everything the same okay um, you're gonna ask me how how do I do that well go to my channel search for it i might have make a video on how to clone it as well as how video to create a windows installer uh, from microsoft usb um, or you can just buy one anyway um, that's the full tutorial what i'm trying to tell you and um, i just wanted to say if you do like the video please go ahead and uh, smash the like button for me i really appreciate you for liking that and if this video is helpful to you and you want to show appreciation support my work 
support my channel, please do not forget to check the YouTube Super Thanks. YouTube Super Thanks allow you to share your gratitude, um, you know, and, and I really appreciate you for doing that. And do not forget to check my website as well, okay, for more videos. Thank you again. I wish you all the best. And until next time, bye now.